Uh, Coach, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, 11 touchdowns the last two weeks, over 600 yards passing. He said he's the best quarterback in the country. Fun. What was the Heisman Trophy moment tonight? They say there's a moment for the Heisman Trophy. What was it? Oh, shoot. Uh, we had five touchdowns, so he was pretty consistent all night long. Uh, three passing, two rushing, I believe. But um, I tell you what, right there at the end of the game, when you got to have the first down, and he went and got it to put us in victory formation, that's about as good as it gets right there. Uh, the throw he made to Renfro, the throws he made. I mean, even the, he made big throws all night long. Uh, just critical plays. Um, the throw to Dion, uh, just a tremendous play and, and a great effort uh, by Dion as well. Uh, the, the play to, to the, on the last touchdown to Renfro, uh, zone read concept, and uh, you know he read it out and then he, he, he felt the, the defense support from the perimeter, so he took the screen and we walk in for a touchdown. I mean, it, it was a lot of moments. He rushed for 80-something yards, averaged five yards of carry. Uh, he's, uh, he's been unbelievably consistent, you know. And, you know, he, it, this, this is a, a guy that oh, since October, November, and now in December, ain't nobody been better than this guy right here. And um, this is championship football t time, and, and we're here, uh, and we're able to finish tonight. He's a big reason why. You know, he certainly doesn't do it by himself, but, but – um, when you got a quarterback like what we got, you you have you have 13 and 0 and 12 and 1 type seasons. So um, sure, I'm glad that he's been playing for the Tigers. Question on the right in the back, Coach. Number four is the best player on the field, definitely. But it was a different guy every play. It was Gallman. It was Kane. Defense. Was this truly the next man up making a play tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, everybody everybody had a, a hand in it. Um, our play action game was great, especially early on and, and being able to hit Leggett. Um, you know, we had the one, you had the wind knocked out of him on the one, but he had he had some big plays. He had some really nice throws. Um, uh, again, off off a couple of the play action passes that we had, but everybody made contributions uh, across the board. Again, our offensive line to be able to we ran the football. We we ran the we ran the counter against a. Uh, <laughs> They they brought a saw blitz, and we 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 adjusted and had it up and, and got underneath it. Wayne got underneath it for a for a walk in touchdown one time. They just the communication up front. There was a they, there was a front that has a lot of movement, a lot of stemming. So our offensive line was there was a lot of playmaking going on up there too that you don't necessarily see. Um, but uh, everybody everybody had C J Fuller. C J Fuller came in and gave us a spark, and then all the receivers, you know. Uh, Ray Ray had a great low ball catch that he that he finished. Uh, Dion, um, everybody. I mean, all night long, everybody made contributions. But that's what it takes, and he just does a great job of distributing the ball. And, and um, we asked him to to do a lot tonight, and he had to do a lot of preparation to really get ready for some unique coverage stuff. And he did an outstanding job with it. Question to our left in the front row. Hey, Deb, over here. Um, the common belief after the national championship game was that this team would be really motivated to get back there. But did you ever wonder in the offseason if that disappointment might make things go the other way, that guy that would hard, be hard to kind of put in that work again to, to get back to that point after?